Whenever we think of France, we think about the great French armies that never retreated, never backed down, always dominated Europe, right? right. Th that's what we think about, guys. We don't only think about that one time in history when they gave up that one time. Never before did they do that, right? Throughout history, France dominated Europe, and that's what's happening. We're going to be dominating everything. We're not giving up. Not today, because the Domination DLC made France insanely powerful. Might as well just call it the second France update, really. And hey, boys, if we get 5,000 likes in the first week after this is out, we'll do the second part, where we're gonna form the special super secret duper mooper schmabooba da boober empire that the French have that you probably don't even know they do. Also, if you wanna get the DLC or any PDX game in general, check out my Nexus. I've got every Paradox game that you want to get, and I get a commission. In fact, I get a trillion Zimbabwean dollars for every purchase so if you want me to be a billionaire in Zimbabwe then then you you would be really doing me a solid right here boys using that code and hey the best part is you get a PDX game and the 5,000 DLCs that that come al alongside it okay mm, now 5,000 DLCs uh, that's, that's uh, a, a trillionaire really in Zimbabwe all right boys now you probably guessed it France is ridiculously overpowered we're gonna make mr. Jean Barreau or Johnny butter as I like to call him the leader of the northern bits of our armies. We're also going to be recruiting the Frey Company in Paris, and we're going to do a fairly standard estates here with the plus one mana privilege for all three of the estates. Summons a Duyot and seize the Kronlands. I'm going to make this very easy. Watch my estates video if you haven't already, and then you know exactly what's going on here. If there's anything that's different from a standard estates, then I'll let you know, but that's not really the case right now. Let's get our advisors also. Discipline is actually going to help out a lot. He is a little bit more expensive than your average advisor though, so keep that in mind. Improve relations is not bad because he's 50% cheaper as is, well, as are these two guys. I'm going to get the stability guy actually for now. I might change him over to the inflation one afterwards. And you know, you might have these guys disloyal, but if you get a royal marriage before you on pause with Orléans, they're all back to super duper loyal. So get a royal marriage with all of the estates here, or better yet, all of the appanages. Apparently we are rivaled by the Ottomans. Okay, that's a little bit strange, not gonna lie, but okay, sure. I mean, fine. I just don't ally freaking England, please, Ottomans. I, I love you. Send him a scornful insult as well. We're gonna embargo our rivals too, so we get extra power projection for that matter. Let's go issue embargo. Do the same with the English as well. And we will be um we'll be getting an ally. Let's see if we can ally Castile. Usually Castile is the best choice for an alliance, and we're gonna cancel the uh, proclaim guarantee that we have on the Scots. This way we have enough diplo relation slots. Most of our missions here and yes we do have a brand new mission tree revolve around conquering the french region and areas around us but there's also a lot of unique flavorful missions that are unlocked if you scroll down in your mission tree for example refine the bombard so we just need to win four battles with the jean bureau and then we get cannons from the very first part of the campaign basically 20 years before anybody else gets them well us and the ottomans they also get some cannons another mission here embrace renaissance just requires us to have renaissance and one stability and then we get this bad boy so speaking of in one month remind me i need to get one stability and after i get that stability i can give the uh, advisor cost reduction uh, privileges we also can do another mission by uh, getting 90 trust with uh provence and then we make them a personal union that's fairly easy to do we just got a curry favors with them we're also going to get another royal marriage with them of course so we can improve up to 190 relations also and it's the 11th of december i'm going to be attacking um england i'm well actually i need to wait until the 19th because i sent that scornful insult right or embargo whatever i sent and now i know some of you are going to be wondering why you're not waiting looty for the event to happen what's the point of that what if the english give me main then i have a freaking truce with them okay i don't want a truce i want to fight the english and wreck their army so i can get my artillery pieces and it's a very easy war against the english and Portugal because I'm going to be getting most of my war score from occupying the Portuguese lands and from winning the battles against the vastly inferior English and Portuguese troops. Another alternative option is to go into Scotland and attack the English uh, Isles here from the Scottish parts. That's okay too, but no need to. What's the point when you can just take your Portuguese lands, right? We got a royal marriage with the Castilians. If they for some reason lose their heir, we might be able to put one of our guys on their throne, which means we might be able to enforce a personal union against the Castilians. We actually need 
need to do a mission with the uh, Pope where we got to get a hundred relations So let's do that now. We could actually just buy indulgence now that I think about it That's 75 relations with the Pope by itself and then just got to improve a little bit more with them after we want to be on the Pope's good side because one of our initial missions here the papal lands of Avignon leads us down two paths either we agree with the Pope having this and we are on their good side or on their bad side the bad side is going to give us a subjugation CB on Naples and a few claims in the Milanese areas or being on their good side allows us to restore the kingdom of Jerusalem and if we are defender of the faith when we do it we're going to get some insane modifiers till the end of the game that include manpower recovery army tradition decay minus one percent that is huge that's on the level of freaking Prussia boys oh and not to mention we got brand new national ideas with this update as well and these ideas are ridiculously strong I mean dev cost minus 10 national manpower diplo rep morale of armies plus 15 and army tradition flat 0.5 war taxes cost minus 50 and national tax core creation cost and absolutism discipline garrison army damage and for def it's just it's it's just insane dude like honestly I feel like France was buffed way more than it should have been France was strong as it is before but with the new update France is just ridiculous level they've patched some stuff by the way I'm playing with the most recent update that's why I do not need 50% crownlands to integrate my uh, appanages so keep that in mind that being said they've patched some of the really really disgusting exploits that involved Provence and Burgundy and so on so we're not gonna be using those of course today about time we got the fort of Cain. that is by the way exactly how you pronounce it you have to do the face too. the state takes control of the guild we can get reform progress stability or some mana points Ooh, reform progress sounds good also i forgot to get one stability feels bad man but hey now we got two stability yay and that was our fourth battle one let's uh, get our refined bombards or whatever the schnapps they're called oh yes silly portuguese you think you can hide away from me in the burgundian lands really the birth of permanent taxation system oh my god ancient france is the same like modern france taxes left taxes right oh you took a poop you gotta play for the tax Oh, did you just breathe? You gotta pay for the tax. Boom, boom, boom. It's the tax wars. Boom, boom, boom. England and Portugal have no more troops. Hey, wait, what? Where'd they have this? You scumbag English. You recruited more troops than you. Yep, look at that. They got the mercenaries, the gallo glasses. They they really have no more manpower, do they? <laughs> Truth be told, I could have pieced them out a couple of years ago, but I've also been targeting their armies so I can get some army tradition from winning the battles. I need army tradition for strategic uh, conquest reasons don't question it just like I need the pale because you know I'm into those pale people <laughs> Yeah, boy. Yep, they're scared to even cross the channel now, aren't they? Oh my god, I just realized something. Guys, there's a super secret trick in EU4. If you do that, your PP is permanently increased by 10%. It's called subscribe to my channel, you. Come on, subscribe to my channel. Just do it. Hit the subscribe button. Why are you not subscribed? Come, just do it. Why sit in your parents' basement all day doing nothing but playing video games when you could be sitting in your parents' basement playing video games while whilst being subscribed to me. It's a, it's a huge difference, okay? I'm, I'm gonna tell you that. Ow, oh, the sack of the Lisboa. I wish army professionalism was as good as before. Honestly, it's, it's more of a disappointment now than anything else. All right, we got the war score we need. Let's go ahead and piece them out. Let's get a little bit of money as well. 600 Ducats. Yeah, yeah, schnell Gutenstein. All right, so two days, boom shakalaka, and we're taking all of the English possessions in uh, France. We're taking the pale and as much money as possible. Let's Let's go 90,000 Englishmen, 89,000 Frenchmen. But we've settled the debate who is the ultimate 100 years war champion, and it's us, boys. It is definitely us. We could have done the retake Gascony mission before, it would have made it cheaper to take Bordeaux and La Borde. It's not worth it, though. I prefer to do it after because now we get manpower recovery speed and monthly war exhaustion, both of which we need desperately. And the provinces lo lose 10 devastation, so again, an added bonus. Liberate Normandy is going to give us another. 5% crownlands and uh, the Normans lose their cores on Normandy. Let's go ahead and get this as well now. 599 a beautiful. We don't really need to core much except Calais and Pale because, well, it's 
it's all already our course and we got the permanent claims on burgundy now what is this alinson yep it is alinson i don't want another apanage i'm sorry bro there you go i lose one stability tough freaking tomatoes man Brittany, you allied freaking castile oh come on actually bro actually wow oh we got one stability back all right that's a lot of up and downs with our stability isn't it i guess the people are not thinking this is the most stable of country now do they wow england's no longer a val valid rival for me fair enough explains a lot now uh we will be attacking the irish folk next and whilst we do that we're going to be improving with our various appanages so we can integrate them in a few years i'm also going to be seizing another five percent crown loans i already have 13 percent crown loans so we're very close to 20 percent even though we got the plus one mana privilege from the very beginning of the campaign i have to say that the way they've designed the uh, appanages is pretty impressive it's a mixture of the japanese daimyos and something else for example you can conscript the generals you can contribute to capital development and take from their lands you can also lower their liberty desire if you use some of your reform progress and so on there's a lot of interactions here i'd like to see more interactions with the regular vassals in the future maybe but maybe i'm hoping for too much i don't know i'm sorry what the granadan reconquest of ceuta granada felt that they're so strong they can attack portugal oh right okay that makes sense it's because i destroyed portugal so now they got 2,000 units of no man power so they are easy to be fair enough fair enough granada made the right choice there boys hey we can do appease the dynasties which grants some diplo relations nobility equilibrium and some development in the appanage capitals fair enough let the irish wars begin famous in history for the amount of uh irishmen and frenchmen that that deserted what? I think the real question everybody's asking right now, why is Ludi wearing a red shirt when he's clearly playing as the French? I mean, this is absolute heresy. This man should be canceled right on the spot, right? Let's do it. Let's cancel. Is he still a Come on, Ludi. Stop it. Stop eating the Irish people, please. I got no idea how Portugal managed to win that war against Granada. I was fairly certain they were going to lose that big time. Still managed somehow to get one province from Granada, so okay. Prospering times? Yes say well i don't think i i don't disagree let's check bapuato is a really good province for salt okay we can do we can do the diplo thing we can do a little bit of production in there second tier reform for now we're gonna go for the national tax because uh france has a lot of tax development so we're gonna take advantage of the tax dev especially in the early part of the campaign but we'll change the reform later down the line in the second part of this campaign to something else once tax is no longer relevant all right we can also attack uh, kildare as well as their best buddy he's in uh tyrone oh let me put this guy in here let's go the last war is gonna include all of the irish minor nations here so let's go ahead and attack them sligo cobladrate everybody and um one last war to rule them all basically there you go all of ireland is at war with us so it's gonna be ireland owned by france and northern ireland owned by england very balanced and very historically accurate that's why modern ireland is divided in two this this here is the reason why guys in case you didn't know and the bright side at least i get some big battles here against the entirety of the french uh, sorry the irish mites but yeah the irish are not as strong as our Amazeballs Franciowskis. Let's uh, ship these boys all over the place. Thank you very much. All right, Munster. They still have their units, but they're going to be uh, blocked over in their own part of Ireland until I get the rest of my units ready to push into them, of course. What? England attacked Scotland with the subjugation CB. Hot dang. Didn't expect that to happen. Wait, which one is going to be? 318 days left until I can grab diplomatic and there's no limit on the military. I'll wait out a little bit longer. I really want to get Renaissance before I actually get any new technologies. I mean, I know it's not a lot. It's 15% debuff, but still 15% is like, what, 100 mana points? There, I developed uh, Paris a little bit uh, with my extra mana points so I can spawn in Renaissance a little bit quicker. By the time we finish with the Irish lands, we should have Renaissance as well. I guess I should say Renaissance since I am playing as the French though, right? Hey, the last jousting tournament. Noise, boys, noise. What are you doing here, Desmond? Why are you hiding in the corner, Desmond? Stop it, Desmond. Stop being so socially awkward. Did they destroy the fortification the other guys had? Oh, they did. Well, that makes my life a lot easier then. My favorite part is how the only nation in a potential coalition is the English right now. Essentially, nobody cares if uh, we do stuff to the Irish that, that the Irish don't necessarily want us to do. Now, boys, it is time to start annexing our beloved appanages. Let's go with uh, two of them at the same time. Budabone and um, Oven. Both of them should be a okay ski. I'm gonna give out this uh, privilege as well. Nobility integration policy, so I don't get the... Uh, 
Diplo rep debuff and also because I want to integrate them a little bit faster. 5% faster is not nothing. Another 10% faster we get from uh, the Papal Legate. So we end up with integrating these guys in 11 months for Auvergne. That's that's pretty powerful. All right, we managed to get the uh, last favors with the Provence. So we have 90 trust now. That means we can do this mission, Provence question, that makes Provence one of our personal unions. We even got a union over Lorraine because they had a union over Lorraine before. So now we have two more vassals, Lorraine and Provence. Sadly, Provence got butchered by Burgundy and uh, the Pope. So we kind of have to get those cores back from Pope and uh, Burgundy. I'm going to do my missions first. So I'm going to do Papal Lands of Avignon. So I got to be friendly towards the Pope. But then after I do this mission, I can just wipe the schnapps out of them essentially. For now though, let's get that alliance and improve relations with Zipopius Maximus. Take note, you do lose 20 loyalty every single time you integrate one of your appanages. So keep that in mind. You might struggle with your nobility loyalty. We've had a few years of Chilium. Now it's time to uh, kill him. Let's set the Bro Nawoned over here as our target and let's attack Yes, This is actually not a bad war because even though we lose our alliance with the Castilians, we still manage to get an alliance with the Aragonese and we're basically replacing one with the other. Plus, we can make the Castilians cancel their alliance with the Austrians, our arch enemies, so we can get the alliance back with the Castilians later down the line. And a little bit of money in the process. I don't mind squeezing a little bit of dough from the Castilians, boys. No, you don't, Brittany. No, you don't. You try to kill my bros. No, 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 no. I kill your bros, okay? We go and snapple dupe you. And wow, 28%. Okay, that was actually insanely fast. Thank you very much, uh, John Johnny Butter. I guess it pays having those artillery pieces, doesn't it? And also this dude's a freaking three siege special siege specialist. God damn, we're gonna have an easy time sieging everything now, aren't we? Of course, of course, it goes up to 71% just as I said that because that's how things go in this game. Oh, ho, 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 ho. oh, 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 oh,
All right, now let's go back and let's uh, fully annex these boyos. Ha! Ah, utterly defeated, ya say. Not even a coalition. Oh, that is a very druse, boys. Very druse and dead. All right, now we can also do another mission here. We got to scroll down for half an hour first. Now we got connect the provinces. Grants us access to the French infrastructure network, state edict, and every province with at least 25 development, which is owned by us or non-tributary subjects in the French region, will also get this modifier for 15 years. Now, I'll be honest with you guys. I'm not going to click that yet because I want more provinces with 25 development before I click it. That's basically what you click when you start developing your provinces. What the actual F, bro? Jean de Valois that Orleans has as an heir is a freaking Chandlord. 545 beats the schnapps out of my 432, which, oh my, oh, oh no, he fell out the window. No, no, Carlos or whatever the hell his name was. No, oh, that's unbelievably bad, bro. I guess I have to appoint Orleans heir as my heir now. <laughs> What? We got a 5 4 I love, I love Appanages. All right, boys, it's time that we also attack a Milano and let's go ski. What, uh, what the hell is the Ottomans doing in Milan? Oh, okay, I see what's up. Um, Ottomans attacked Albania and what the F is going on in Naples? Oh my God. Oh my God, dude. I literally was about to say that after the Milan Union, we're going to try and go for the Naples Union, but it seems like no, no. RNGs has decided that Ottomans is going to own South Italy. Frack my freaking RNG. RNG, dude, I swear, man, this is so frustrating sometimes. Let's get a, let's get a good general. Oh, yes, the best. Come on! Of course, why not double down on the bad RNG and give me one stab hit, right? Because that's, that's how um, people don't go crazy in playing E4, obviously. I guess I was kind of subconsciously uh, waiting for the uh, Milanese to leave the HRE because the Shadow Kingdom triggered whilst I was at war with the Castilians. So that means I don't need to worry about the uh, Habsburgs in this particular war here. Plus, afterwards, we can use the cores that Milan have to attack um, the Venetians, which apparently nobody's gonna help them out. Oh my lord, that's gonna be a juicer, boys. These cannons are doing God's work right here, boys. Literally doing God's work, bringing peace, prosperity, and weed to everybody in Europe. Not sure why they're bringing weed, but there's got to be a reason, right? They, they probably want to make people happier. I'm just assuming here. It's clearly why the stupid fort's at 64% right now, because of the weed. Our soldiers are not doing a good job. They're too stoned out of their minds. Come on. Oh, come on. Really? Please, full at 64 times 2. Yay. Hurrah. Can we get a schnapple dupe in the chat, boys? Can we get a schnapple? Doop. All right, let's wipe out these guys' armies. When I do that, all I'm seeing is a free army tradition by us. All right, actually, I think we can do the peace deal. Yeah, we can. We just don't need to take the money. Nah, I want to take the money. Give me all your money. Let's bring back this guy. Guess we can take all the money once we uh, occupy the la last two provinces here too. Milan has joined the personal union swarm and coalition-wise, boys, it's surprisingly not that bad. Mostly just people right next to me. And I mean, actually right next to me. Speaking of, it is time that we integrate another appanage. Let's go with the... Uh, uh, Orléans next since it is the bigger of the boyos here and then we'll leave Armagnac for last. Take note you do need to uh, seize crownlands between every single time that you integrate another appanage so because we started with Orléans we have to seize land again from the estates before we can integrate Armagnac meaning we need to wait another five years. Of course the few nations that could join in a coalition freaking did join a coalition and the Iberian wedding just triggered Aragon my beloved ally has gone away from me sadly and my rival of Castile has taken over meaning I'm gonna have some issues in the south I'm gonna have to build this fortification the sooner the better I'll delete the one in Labord as soon as the one in Navarra is done we also can do two missions at the same time here by developing our subjects provinces so for example we need to have five development in each of these provinces so we can go with um, Orleans once we go one for the money two for the show three for your mama I I, I don't know that rhyme though hey that rhyme we got to do the same for how many more provinces um we got to develop it five times okay well gonna need more mana points then oh at least we can do this mission i forgot about the lar valley here so this is gonna give us one manpower in all of the lar valley provinces as well as nobility equilibrium or we can get 50 admin and some ducats i'm gonna go for the admin obviously now the thing is me developing that province is actually three missions so we got the Loire Valley that I forgot about but we also have the eight universities where we got to develop Orléans and a few other provinces uh highlighted over here five times once we do that we get the Sorbonne event happening
happen, as well as by developing provinces in our subject lands, we lower the liberty desire. Once all of our subjects have less than five liberty desire, we can get the minus 15% diplonixation cost and influence reduction for estates, as well as a ton of reform progress based off of the monthly admin that we're getting here. So uh, let's do that. Let's see what our subjects are like. 20% in Milan, 16% in Armagnac. So we can get rid of this very quickly by enabling support loyalists. As for Armagnac, we're going to use some of our prestige to placate them once and I guess twice as well. Screw it. Might as well. There you go. Now we go back to our missions and we should be able to do... No? Oh, it's got to be below 5%, I guess then. Yeah, I guess it's got to be below 5%. All right, pay off their debt. There you go. That should be enough then. And it was crown seat of Paris, Buyashnoki. We got a ton of reform progress growth, which means we can do our next reform right now, the tier three reform. Also, we can get form the gendarmes because we managed to get 16,000 cavalry in our armies. We now have the special gendarme reform as a tier five government reform. But take note, we gained a lot of reform progress from that mission. So we can get the second one right now. Now I'm going to go for the extra reform progress growth, of course, plus the fourth tier reform is going to be available in just a couple of months. Hold on a second. What the F is going on here, boys? We got Ramazan <laughs> as basically Karaman. They just replaced Karaman and they're a vassal of the Mamluks. Okay, the plot thickens. The plot definitely thickens. And basically, as I was saying, we got the tier four reform already. I'm going to go for the temples and cathedrals give extra tax modifier because right now, guys, temples and cathedrals in France are insanely powerful just by default because we have a ton of tax development in our region. They are offer a ton of income so it's 100% worth it building churches and so on in the French region at least and if you're wondering why I attacked with a stack of only cavalry those rebels it's so I can uh, concentrate after the battle and basically go from 11,000 cavalry units to 4,000 without just disbanding them and wasting them as consequence well boys I believe that is the last of our appendixes that we had to integrate now looking a lot better aren't we but hey you know what it's also time for us to do another quick war in the British Isles here for some reason the English did not actually actually vassalize Scotland and they themselves are weak as schnapps so I'm probably gonna attack the English first get the two islands here and probably get London so I get myself into the English channel node properly where all the big dough is boys all right it is time for the Deus of the Vultus Poblodre Portugal ally to Castile now nah, I'm good all right let's go we should have an easy time crossing into the uh, main British Isle I guess that's the island of Britain I actually don't know what the island is hold on I just realized guys I don't know what this island is called is this Britain or what is this island called oh my god I don't know what the island is called <laughs> I've always I've always thought of them as the British Isles right I never actually realized I don't know they probably have separate names right ah they're committing five head by uh by landing over in Calais oh no 57 on the minus how about we barragio and then it's not 57 on the minus it's uh, gonna be assaulted in a couple of seconds where did I get the rebels is it Granada and rebels of course it's Granada and rebels hey hey they did something good they fought the Portuguese for me, man. Beautiful. Thank you, rebels. Yeah, better run, England. Yeah, better run. They got one more stack around here. I'm chasing down. Let's see where they are. Oh, there they are. <laughs> yeah. All right, Baragio, Assaltios, and your yeah, armies are dead, um, England. Ha <laughs> ha. No more army for England. They they got 1,000 soldiers left. Hello. What do I want from England, you ask? Well, that is an excellent question, sir. Here's exactly what I want from them. I want to take London. I want to take their Cumbrian province and uh and all the money that's it that's all i want i don't want anything else that's it i am not that greedy all right london is obviously because it's the best province and look at that 40 freaking trade power alone is delicious as for the province of cumbria i got it because um i'm gonna release northumberland from here which i'm gonna feed back the rest of the provinces that they got here afterwards in the next war against the brits also i managed to get the burgundians to love me which is a good thing because now i'm uh, gonna go down this path here the burgundian succession I'm gonna try and enact this mission which in return means that when the uh, succession happens whenever Charles dies I'm gonna get burgundy almost a guarantee that I'll get burgundy I do have to curry favors with them though So there's that going on right and we seem to have gotten a holy war CB on the Ottomans I'm guessing that's because of the Burgundian mission most likely. Uh, do I attack them so I can take back my Neapolitan lands? I'm gonna 
to think about this. That's not a bad idea, actually. Let's also build a proper fleet whilst we're at it, so we actually have some trade in the English Channel, more trade in the English Channel anyway. And another mission we can do. Honestly, the best part about the uh, French new mission tree is the fact that there's so many random missions that don't necessarily require conquest, but there's just like some finite things you can just read and do, and you can, whilst at peace, enact a lot of missions to help you with your economy, with your development, and so on. What the fuck just happened here? Aragon is a grand republic and they broke away from Castile. What? Hello Aragon, my brand new rival. Honestly, my favorite bit is how France gets 10 permanent power projection, especially in the late game. This makes a huge freaking difference when you're gonna struggle to get power projection. But look at that, crown of France plus 10 forever. That means we're always gonna have at least 50 power projection, even if we don't have any rivals. As such, we're gonna have the extra one mana points for each of the categories until the end of the game. Wait, what? Why does Provence own this? Oh, shibi dooby dooby do the baba the baba do they negotiated no freaking way dude provence negotiated with the uh, with the papal states and they got relations and they got the province from them oh my lord if only the papal states didn't take these two provinces i wouldn't have any issues at all right now about time of uh, the byzantine refugees to trigger did byzantium just exist in like a small province somewhere i didn't notice them what the f like actually what the f happened here uh Okay, didn't really pay that much attention to that area, to be fair. All right, let's uh, let's go ahead and uh, change some of these uh, favors for trust. We're gonna need to change as many as possible in order to do that mission with the Burgundians. Oh, okay, this is not too bad. Subjugate Savoy. Savoy's pretty weak, isn't it? Like four provinces or something left. I'm fairly certain I can diplomatically subjugate them, though. Yeah, look at that, 49.55. That means... I just need six more points to be able to subjugate them. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's get uh, let's get good relations with them. There you go. Literally just got the royal marriage, and that gave me fifty nine fifty five, so I can actually make them my diplomatic vassal now. I do my agenda mission, and I don't need to get the extra aggressive expansion. And then after, I can use them to conquer back the cores that they had from the Pope and everybody else around here. I have to say, this is one of the most peaceful France runs I've ever had, and it's in a good way. I'm actually enjoying the new mission tree. All right, we got the Relationen, aber unser new vassalenstein in case you're wondering how there you go that's how we got the relations we insulted their uh, rivals etc etc proclaim guarantee military access and so on fairly standard stuff i know some people don't know how to get it quickly and they just wait for the improved relations to go up that's that's a waste of time in my opinion oh my god i finally did the stupid papal lands of avignon i had to invest in here more than 50 i had to invest i think about 195 or something i invested a lot of it i invested man needs to be more clear honestly needs to be more clear but hey at least now we got crusade for jerusalem so we now have some uh, claims over here and once we take these lands check out the rewards boys if we are defender of the faith and it is a tier 5 religion which it is we're gonna get army dk minus one percent prestige plus one flat and manpower recovery speed plus 15 for the rest of the game that is ridiculously powerful guys same for this one here we gain a holy war cb against every 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 boys every muslim great power even if we do not border them ridonculous again as well as against specifically the ottomans and the mamluks uh, uh temporary holy war cbs also and then we can do the shield of the Ottomar. and if we complete this whilst having an iberian subject or an ally with 90 opinion and 100 trust we gain access to the christian holy order mechanics that means we can get the holy orders that the castilians have as france that is just delicious boys absolutely delicious and yes you're right i'm gonna get ready for a crusade now against Zemomalaks because in Europe, I don't want to expand anything right now. I will uh, attack my uh, Savoyard uh, vassal claims and I'm going to dissolve the alliance with the uh, Pope now that I've actually done what I needed to do with them so I can actually take the lands that they have now. But a lot of my focus is, of course, going to go into the Middle East, reclaim the Holy Lands for France whilst I wait for Charles to die so I can get the Burgundian lands as well, which is a guarantee now with the mission done. So guys, if you want to see all this stuff happen, leave that like so we get the second part done. And until the next time, check out this amazing Anjivin Empire run. And I want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons, channel members, and Twitch subscribers. I would not be able to do this without all your support.